The best way to start any ethical hacking approach and process really is to take in the big picture, to look at the target from end to end, looking at the entire scope of the target, looking at all aspects of it is incredibly useful. Oftentimes the data you get during this phase, just the footprinting and initial data gathering is enough to set up the entire rest of the attack to perform the entire assessment process. It often scopes down exactly what you want at the very, very beginning and gives you a really clear idea of where to place your energy. That's really useful. At the same time, it's actually kind of a dual-edged sword in that you may find that it's troublesome to narrow your focus at this stage because there may be some really tempting things that you find during footprinting that you might want to attack. For example, email servers may not be part of your scope that you've documented, but you may find during even this initial footprinting approach, you may actually find unsecured email servers or email servers that are easily spoofed. That's really troublesome because on the one hand, it's not something that you're going to be attacking. On the other hand, it's really, really interesting and really opportunistic to make your attack in that way. But regardless of what you find or don't find, in my experience, the best way to find exactly what you're going to attack first, the best way to plan out your entire attack is to do a really good job of footprinting and assessing the target from the very, very beginning. This process of footprinting is all about collecting as much information as you possibly can about the target, the target company's information, stuff that probably doesn't apply to your attack directly, but may give you some clues or some information that you're going to use later. All kinds of information about systems and about what's connected to the internet, what's not connected to the internet, what's connected behind internet facing systems, what their business model may look like, who they use as their suppliers or their contractors. This information is all available to you from the very, very beginning with little or no depth of research. This information comes in a bunch of different forms and there's a bunch of different places to get it, but gathering it all up, gathering it all together helps you roadmap the attack and really make your attack much more efficient down the road. It's important to remember what the goal of this early footprinting approach is. The goal of this footprinting approach is to define what you're going to attack, what you're going to probe, what you're going to attempt to compromise during later attacks. So it's a combination of technical and non-technical that isn't in and of itself an attack. You're not going to really compromise very much at this footprinting stage, but you're going to get great information that you're going to use later as data to feed into your attacks. Information about what kinds of computers are connected to the internet, what's connected to those computers, who operates those computers, who the different role owners are in a company. You may think, well, it would be great to know the CEO of the company or the board of directors. That's great information, certainly. But going beyond that, who are the computer operators of a company? Who is the IT staff? Who are the people that you can use a combination of social engineering, process engineering, targeted attacks, and so forth to actually get compromises against? During this early phase, you'll probably also find plenty of processes that the target follows. For example, how they dispose of old computer hardware, how they dispose of secure data, that kind of thing. This information is really useful, again, in later attacks of a variety of different ways. The goal here is not to actually attack, it's just to gather the data that will feed into the later attacks.